Lesson 7, Bunsen burners. Key words for this lesson are safety, hazard, risk, Bunsen burner and flame. Have a go at the first knowledge check. Come back and check your answers. Pause the video now and try the questions. Answers to the okay, first knowledge let's go through check. The answers. Question one. Temperature means how hot or cold something is. Question two, the unit for temperature is degrees Celsius. Alternatively, you could have said Fahrenheit or Kelvin. Question three, the button that zeroes a balance is the tear button. Question four, identify the unit used in science for mass. It's a kilogram. Question five, state the unit for volume, meters cubed, or you could say centimeters cubed. Question six, a risk is a problem that will occur. Question seven, a hazard is an object that can cause a problem. Question eight, identify the first letter of the Greek alphabet. It is alpha. Safety. When using any piece of equipment in a science lesson, it's important to follow safety instructions. This is especially important when using the Bunsen burner. The Bunsen burner was invented in 1855 by a German scientist named Robert Bunsen. The hazard from a Bunsen burner is the flame and the risk is that it can cause burns or fires. So you need to be extremely careful when using a Bunsen burner. Design and handling. The shape of the Bunsen burner gives a streamlined design to enable the best performance and has been altered very little since it was first made. The base holds a funnel tube to allow the gas from a rubber tube to flow upwards with a collar that controls the flow of air to alter the type of flame. If the air hole is closed, a yellow flame is produced. This is also referred to as a safety flame as it is visible. When the hole is half open, a blue flame or a medium flame is produced, which is used for heating experiments slowly. If the hole is fully opened, then a roaring blue flame results. This is very hot and is used for rapid heating process. Learning activity. Label the Bunsen burner using the keywords given. Check your answers with the diagram shown. This part is the flame. Here we have the funnel tube. Here we have the collar, the air hole, the base, and the rubber tube. Lighting a Bunsen burner. When lighting a Bunsen burner, safety is very important. Goggles must always be worn. Chairs need to be placed under the table with all books and planners placed on top. You do not sit down to do experiments. The Bunsen burner should be placed on a heat proof mat with the air hole closed. The rubber tube is connected to the gas tap. A splint is then lit and only then is the gas tap turned on. Quickly place the lit splint over the top of the funnel tube. Once the Bunsen is lit, put out the splint using the heat proof mat. Turn the collar at the Bunsen burner to change the type of flame. Half open for medium flame, fully open for roaring flame, to put the flame out, turn the gas tap off. If you need to walk away from a lit flame, turn the collar so that the air hole is closed and it is on the safety flame. Never leave a flame unattended if possible. Remember safety is very important. Robert Bunsen lost the sight in one of his eyes during a practical using a Bunsen burner.
and what we've covered here is basic lab safety. Now have a go at the last knowledge check. Pause the video and try the questions. Now check your answers. Question one, Robert Bunsen invented the Bunsen burner. Question two, the bottom part of a Bunsen burner is called the base. Question three, a yellow flame is used to light the Bunsen burner. Question four, the collar is used to change the flame. Question five, temperature is defined as the average kinetic energy of the particles. Question six, a hazard symbol identifies dangers. Question seven, two important languages in science are Latin and Greek. Question eight, you should always wear goggles when doing experiments. Question nine, the Bunsen burner was invented to provide a very hot, clean flame to carry out experiments. Question 10, it suggests why there is a need for three types of flames to control the temperature of the flame and to provide a safety feature. Question 11, are there any ways the practical can be improved. We could have included an experiment to test how hot the different flames were, example by heating water.